solving quadratic equations. So, we have four methods to determine the roots of the quadratic equation. So, ano-ano yung apat na yon? We have extracting a square root, factoring, completing the square, and by using the quadratic formula. Tandaan na, roots ang tawag sa value ng x na makukuha natin. Pwede din natin itong tawaging solution of the quadratic equation. Unahin natin ang solving quadratic equations by extracting a square root. In solving quadratic equations by extracting a square root, ito ina-apply natin if the quadratic equation has no middle term. Ibig sabihin, walang linear term. O yung b is equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, ang makikita na lang natin ay ang ax squared plus c is equal to 0. So, ano-anong mga halimbawa natin? Ayan. So, example nito ay ang mga sumusunod. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang mga common sa kanila ay yung exponent na 2 and then biglang constant term. Well, except dito sa ikaapat natin. I-elaborate natin ito mamaya. Let us have another example. So, tandaan, before we extract the square root of both sides of the quadratic equation, we need to transform ax squared plus c is equal to 0 sa x squared is equal to negative c over a. Sa x squared, minus 16 is equal to 0. Apply lang natin yung APE by adding positive 16 on both sides of the equation. So, makakancel sa left side and then may matitirang positive 16 sa right side. We have x squared is equal to 16. Sa 4x squared minus 3 is equal to 0 naman, apply muna natin yung APE. Kaya naging 4x squared is equal to 3. Then, divide both sides by A, which is equal to 4. Kaya naging x squared is equal to 3 fourths. So, example 1 natin kanina. I-elaborate lang natin ha. So, let us find the solutions to the quadratic equation x squared minus 16 is equal to 0. Ito yung steps on how to determine the roots or the solution of the quadratic equation. So, by applying APE, ito yung sinabi ko kanina, adding positive 16 sa left and right side. So, yung 0 nagkaroon ng plus 16 and then yung minus 16 nagkaroon ng plus 16. So, makakancel magiging 0. So, ang matitira is x squared and then bring down lang natin si 16. After that, i-extract na natin yung square root ng both sides of the equation. So, ang square root ng x squared ay x na lang. At ang square root naman ng 16 ay plus minus 4. Therefore, the solutions of the quadratic equation x squared minus 16 equals to 0 ay positive 4 at negative 4. Pinaghiwalay lang natin. Ayan. Sa example Example ko naman natin kanina, apply lang natin uli yung APE. So, adding positive 3 sa left side and right side. Sa left side, makakancel. Kaya, 4x squared na lang. And then, dito sa right side, plus 3. Kaya, siya naging ganyan. And then, dividing both sides by 4. So, we have... 4 divided by 4 is 1, x squared na lang. And then 3 divided by 4, we have 3 fourths. Okay? So, bakit natin ginagawa yan? Para ang matira na lang sa left side ay x squared. Diba yun yung goal natin kanina? Dapat ang format niya ay x squared is equal to negative c over a. And then, extract the square root of both sides of the equation. So, 3 is not a perfect square. Kaya naman, as is siya, na square root of 3. Then, square root of 4 is 2. Kaya, ang um, final answer natin is x is equal to plus minus square root of 3 over 2.
Therefore, the roots of the quadratic equation 4x squared minus 3 is equal to 0. Paghiwalayin lang natin ay positive square root of 3 over 2 and negative square root of 3 over 2. So, for our third example, ang base dito ay the square of the quantity x minus 2 is equal to 9. Dito, nauna muna tayong mag-extract ng square root kasi hindi mo pwede i-apply agad ang ACE dahil nasa loob pa siya ng parenthesis. So, mag-extract muna tayo. Then, nung nawala na yung parenthesis, pwede na tayo mag-apply ng KPE. Kaya yung negative 2 sa left side ay naging positive 2 sa right side dito sa next line natin. Kasi na-cancel na siya dito sa kaliwa natin. Okay? So, kapag positive 3 plus 2, therefore, ang root natin is equal to 5. So, kapag ka minus 3 naman, plus 2, yung isang root natin is negative 1. Therefore, the solutions are 5 and negative 1.